I was referred to Dr. Rodriguez at SLU because I was having difficulties with my eye. And he evaluated the right eye. And once he did that, he knew what was going on because my vision in the right eye was distorted. I could see people from a distance. I knew it was a man, but I couldn't see their face. She's a lovely lady. She used to have a hole in the middle of the retina, in the center of the retina, in an area called the macula. It was like when you be at a carnival and they had the funny mirrors. That's how everybody was looking out of the right eye. The symptoms of a macular hole are very disarming to a patient because they lose the finest acuity, they lose the detail while they're able to see all the periphery normally. What made me so happy and grateful for Dr. Rodriguez, he just didn't look at the right eye, which most people do, but he looked at the left eye. And when he looked at the left eye, and that's when we found out that both eyes, the left eye started doing what the right eye was doing. And if he wasn't efficient, we never would have caught him. As we age, the vitreous, which is the jelly-filled substance that fills the eye, naturally shrinks and detaches from the retina. He said to me, uh, we have to operate right away. So I went in that Friday. They did the evaluations and everything. Tuesday, I had surgery on the right eye. I wasn't scared because I didn't know the gravity of it, what was going on. If I knew the gravity of it, what was going on, oh, I probably would have been nervous. The treatment for a macular hole is to detach the adhesions between the vitreous and the retina and to allow the retina to adhere to the back of the eye. This has to be done with pressure. One of the mechanisms of surgery is to in, to insert and inject a gas and to have the patient sit or lie face down so that the gas bubble pushes the retina against the back of the eye and attaches the macula to its proper function. This is very disconcerting to the patient as they have to lay face down for a significant period of time, but the, the surgery can be successful if we're able to allow the retina to adhere to the wall of the eye. It closed up. Two weeks later, he did a procedure on the left eye. Many times we are able to identify areas of the retina that may be susceptible to damage in the future. And many of those treatments don't require a surgery. Many of those preventative treatments can be done in the office with a laser or an injection that can be done simply while the patient's awake in the office. We did a similar technique for the other eye, but we just used uh, some details of the technique. For example, those membranes that we remove, we usually have to remove the membranes in more advanced holes. When the hole is smaller, sometimes just the gas is enough to close the hole. And when I got the response, he said both holes are closed. And you talking about happy? I was happy because I am a, a Sunday school leader at my church. And, and not just that, I'm a reader. <laughs>